Hello and welcome to the Pagicon Quick Start Guide. This video is designed to give you a quick overview of Pagico and walk you through a few key features. Let's get started. This is your dashboard. This is where you get to see an overview of your workload. It visualizes your workload and helps you make better plans. Here is what it might look like after you have some data. But first, let's quickly go over the other main components of Pagico and return here when we have some content. This is your inbox. It is a place for you to store things quickly. Similar to the inbox concept in the GTD method, your inbox is ideal for random, one-off, uncategorized content, such as quick notes, errands that don't belong to projects or contacts. You can also use inbox as a temporary storage to keep things first, then process and move them to projects later. Let's create a new task. Your inbox can hold unlimited number of tasks, lists, notes, and files. To import files, simply drag and drop into your Pagical window. Now that we've talked about uncategorized content, let's take a look at managing content by projects. Projects are data containers for lists, tasks, notes, files, and more. So it's recommended to create a project for each of your well, projects. For example, I am currently planning a trip to Miami. Inside a project, we can have any number of lists, tasks, notes, or files. For example, I need to set up a to-do list. I just realized that I should find the surfing spots first, so I'll move this to the top of my list. And I'd like to do it tomorrow, so I use the right-click menu and schedule it for tomorrow. One of the key benefits of Pagico is the ability to manage all types of data in a project. For instance, I can add a note. And I can drop in files and emails, which is perfect for tracking reservations, receipts, and other documents. I just added a new list right here, and I can rearrange the content of my project by dragging and dropping the drag handle here. Finally, Besides being just a data repository, the project feature in Pagical also carries a few additional perks. It has its own timeline view and calendar components. The summary tab gives you a simplified view of your project. The summary tab gives you a breakdown of content by category and completion status. Because the most common type of data our users keep in projects are lists. The summary tab also renders lists as cards. Here, you can see all the lists, their completion status, the most immediate next step, and their progress deviation. With the next step action being visible, you can focus better and see things more clearly. Contacts, similar to projects, are also data containers. So they're perfect for you to manage and track clients, colleagues, and teammates. You can create a new contact by clicking on the button right here. Or you can import from your address book. Would you like to run Pagical on your second computer or on your mobile device? If so, you will be delighted to know that there is a personal cloud feature that can help you to get all your devices in sync. Here's how to set it up. First, go to the Preferences section. 
and sign in with your Patchical ID account. If you do not have one yet, you can create one for free. Once you're signed in, make sure to enable the personal cloud feature. By enabling the personal cloud feature, everything in your database will be synced via the cloud to your other devices. On a side note, I'd like to point out that Pagical stores everything on your computer only by default. Therefore, some of you might be happy to know that if you don't sign in with your Pagical ID account and do not use the personal cloud feature, then all your data will be kept completely offline on premise. One of the common challenges when it comes to project management is that your data is usually scattered in different projects and contacts. So Pagical offers you the dashboard that provides a wonderful overview of everything that you have. To-do lists aren't exactly helpful in trying to keep you on track. So Pagical renders all your workload in this intuitive timeline. So you can understand your workload better and make more realistic and efficient plans. The first time-saving tips I want to share with you guys is the interactivity of the timeline. You can mark things as completed, add new things to containers by clicking here, reschedule deadlines quickly by dragging and dropping, You can also resize tasks by dragging on the right end of a task to reschedule it. You can also perform bulk move actions by dragging and dropping and moving everything at once. The second time-saving tip I want to share with you is the natural language processing feature in Pagico. Pagico has a built-in natural language processing also known as NLP feature, which will scan for time-sensitive keywords and turn them into start and or due dates. This makes setting dates so much faster. When it comes to importing files, the default behavior of Pagical is that it copies files into your Pagical database. That means you can drop things into Pagical and delete the original copy on the outside. However, you can choose the link to an external file by pressing and holding the Option key when dropping the file. For Windows and Linux users, please use the Shift key. As your database grows, you will have more and more projects and contacts. Therefore, keeping important things visible can save you a lot of time. There are multiple ways to do so. On your dashboard, you can choose to pin specific projects or contacts at the top. Alternatively, you can add stars to projects and contacts so that they will be listed under the starred items list. Both sections are synchronized among your devices over the cloud. But the main difference here is that pinned items will also be rendered with a task completion preview. So you may want to pin currently active projects to stay informed on their progress. The today view lets you focus on the current day and it can be personalized with a custom background to make your work environment even more pleasant. For more information, please visit our help site. Thank you for watching and have a great day.